Currently, the OIF OEF unemployment rate is between 30 and 40 percent, which is just atrocious. Um, we have received thousands of emails, Facebook requests, um, tweets, all to Ranger Up asking us if we can help in any way. And so, what we've done here is we've put together a series of four videos that are that we think will help people a lot, especially from a veteran's perspective. And those four videos are going to cover. First, approach. How do you approach looking for a job? Second, resume. How do you write an effective resume that translates well into the civilian sector? Third, networking. How do you meet people and garner information from those people that are going to help you prepare for your ultimate and final test, and that's video four, the interview. So this first video encompasses simply the approach. How do we look at getting a job? And so the very first thing is that you need to understand the reality of the situation. And that reality is no one cares. No one cares that you need this job. No one cares that you don't have any money right now. No one cares that you are a veteran. No one cares about any of these things. Not because they're mean-spirited people. Not because you don't deserve a job, but simply because you are brought there, you're sitting there right now because they have problems that they need someone to solve. They're hiring you to solve their problems. So you can't show up on day zero and unload problems of your own and guilt trip them into trying to solve them. Right? That's, that's going to put a bad taste in someone's mouth. And even if you're the perfect candidate, you just shot yourself in the foot. So come in there and be confident. Now, you should be interviewing them as much as they're interviewing you. So the next thing is stereotypes. Everybody has stereotypes about everything. And to say otherwise um, is really foolish. So particularly with military veterans, because of the media, because of movies, because of TV shows, Grey's Anatomy, people think that everybody in the world has PTSD that's ever served in the military. They think that we've all killed thousands of people. They think um, that we're automaton droids that d can't operate well without uh, a hierarchy, you know, with people telling us specific orders to follow. They think we're inflexible. Or these are things that people just assume because they've watched too much film. On the flip side, though, and there is a positive to this, there are positive stereotypes as well. We're great leaders. We're team players. We accomplish missions. We don't complain. We show up to work on time, which, as silly as it sounds, is a big thing in today's society. Okay, so there's, there are these positive things. So what you want to do is you want to tell stories. You want to tell personal stories. You want to give personal examples of things that accentuate these positive attributes of, of a stereotype of a military veteran but diminish these negative ones. They're, you're not going to ever change their stereotype. Their stereotype is what it is. But you can make them think of you as the exception. This guy has all of these positive attributes that I would want out of a military veteran, but he doesn't have these negative attributes that all the other ones have. That's an important thing to go into. If you go into the, into the experience knowing that people aren't there to solve your problems, and that they have a stereotype about you. You are ahead of the game big time. So if that's what they don't want, what do they want? Well, more than anything, an employer or a college, if you're applying to college, want to see somebody with a history of success. I'll start with college first. A college basically wants to take somebody that's been successful, successful in high school, successful in life, successful in the military, stamp their brand, and then watch that person go and be successful elsewhere and take credit for it. An employer wants to see somebody with a history of success in a variety of different fields across a broad spectrum of challenges and pull them into their organization because if you can be successful in several different areas you're probably going to be successful here. <laughs> That's going to point towards success in this job more than any qualification will, more than any letter of recommendation will. 
That history of success tells your story better than anything. So start with that and make sure that any time that you're writing a cover letter, putting together a resume, or, um, or sitting in an interview, you are showcasing a history of success. Now, so beyond that, what do you need? I break down job qualifications into peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter being the bare minimum that you need before you're going to eat a sandwich. And jelly, which just makes the sandwich that much more delicious. So peanut butter is, okay, if I'm hiring you to be an architect, you need to have an architecture degree. If I'm hiring you to be a computer programmer, you need to be able to program a computer. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have formal qualification. We've hired designers that are completely self-taught. We've hired an architect to be a graphic designer because he showed passion, he had a hard work ethic, and we just knew that he would fit. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the perfect qualification, but you need to show that you can do the job. Because no matter how cool you are, no matter how interesting you are, if you don't have the peanut butter, there's no sandwich. I can't hire you. Then the other part of it is the jelly. This is the part where military veterans can shine. You've been to other countries. You've been to combat zones. You've been to high-stress situations. You've been exposed to indigenous people. You've been exposed and probably speak elements of another language. You have a worldview that you can't replicate in any other method. Okay, so while most Americans have never traveled anywhere outside of uh, the continental United States, and if they have, they've probably gone to the Bahamas, or they've spent a couple of days putzing around in Western Europe, Italy, England, France, which is essentially just America with you know a different language in terms of a short trip and how it feels. You've been out there in a completely different environment and succeeded. That is tremendously valuable. So you need to showcase the jelly. You need to showcase the hobbies, the sports you're involved in, if you paint, if you make furniture, all this weird stuff. That's what's going to make you interesting to an employer. That's what, that's what makes you likable. Because at the end of the day, as much as we all want to hire somebody that does a great job, we also want to have a good time at work. We want to be around people we like. And the peanut butter shows you can do it, but the jelly is what makes you fun to have around. So you want to tell both sides of that story. All right, so again, to sum up what we've talked about, reference the approach to finding a job. The first thing and most important thing is that nobody cares. Not because they're bad people, not because they're selfish, but simply because they have problems of their own and that is why they're hiring you. They're hiring you to solve their problems, to improve their business. You show up on day zero and you're telling them a sob story, they're not going to have any interest in having you on board, no matter how much um, you may deserve it. The second thing is everybody has stereotypes, especially for military personnel, thanks to the media. You, know, you want to accentuate those positive stereotypes about leadership, teamwork, mission accomplishment, and diminish the others, the, the belief that you're not flexible, that you're an automaton droid, all of those things that, that movies help uh, permeate. So what do they want? They want a history of success, a person that will succeed no matter what they do, no matter what task is thrown before them. You show that how? With peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter is the baseline minimum that you need to show in order to be able to do the job. Jelly is the interesting things about you. The travel, the hobbies, the exotic locales that you've been to, the indigenous people you've worked with. This is something that vets bring to the table that very few other people can, and it's a huge advantage. So hopefully, if you start with this approach as we go on to the next videos, you'll be able to keep this in the back of your head because it applies to the resume, it applies to networking, and it also, more than anything, is going to apply to that final test, the interview process. All right, so thank you very much, and I hope this was helpful.